the battle for the ISIS-held city of Mosul, now in its second day, is expected to drag on four weeks or months. As Kurdish and Iraqi forces approach the city, aid groups in the region are preparing for a humanitarian crisis. Fighting has lulled in some areas, but is continuing in others, and airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition continue. NPR's Alice Fordham reports from Kalak, Iraq. The Iraqi army is fighting its way toward the city from the south. A spokesman said they are facing resistance but moving, Alice says. To the east of Mosul, Kurdish Iraqi forces say they have stopped fighting for the moment but are moving artillery to a northern front for an offensive that could begin later today or tomorrow. Meanwhile, the International Committee of the Red Cross, which is calling for all sides to spare civilians, says it's prepared to assist 270,000 people. The group's regional director tells Reuters that ICRC medical centers are equipped to treat any civilians affected by chemical weapons. Mosul was once home to 2 million people, and it's believed that up to a million might still be in the city.